that's not helping you or your partner to be too nice or too apologetic when you're rolling. This guy came up to me the other day and said, I'm going to attack you with the neck of a guitar. I said, is that a threat? Hi there, my name's James and thank you so much for checking out BJJ Family Podcast. I've been training Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for eight years and I'm a purple belt. I wanted to start creating content to support people who, like me, often need a little bit of motivation to get down to training. Or might need a little bit of support with the emotional and mental side of training. I've struggled with my mental health, with OCD and intrusive thoughts, and I've found that Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu has really helped that. Being overly nice and apologetic when you're rolling with your training partner can actually hinder the progress of you and your partner. If you're too nice and you let your partner get away with mistakes, or you're not applying the appropriate amount of pressure when you're rolling, then they won't experience realistic scenarios, which is particularly dangerous, not only if they compete, but also if they actually one day have to use their jiu-jitsu as self-defense. If their only experience of sparring is you rolling around, giving them a cuddle, or tickling them for five minutes, that's not gonna help them when they decide to compete and are matched up against someone who is used to rolling with top competitors and is therefore totally battle-hardened. In a real match, opponents will not be going easy. And although it's really important to look after the safety and the well-being of your opponent, you have to make it realistic. And the second reason it's not helping you to be too nice, it's actually inhibiting your growth. For me, getting over that hurdle of being overly worried about accidentally hurting someone was something I've had to manage. The lovely is rolling around and cuddling your friends is, it's probably not gonna help you get much better at Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And the third reason it's not helpful to be overly apologetic or nice, you're creating a false sense of security. I found that overly apologizing, not only is probably quite annoying, not only completely breaks the flow of the role, but it's not actually helping me or my partner get any better. And if I'm rolling with someone a bit overly nice, I may be giving them the impression they're better than they think they are. If they end up having to take on an intruder in the middle of the night to protect their family, an intruder is not going to go, tell you what, let's do a couple of light rolls first. And the fourth reason it's not helpful, it's a missed opportunity to learn about pressure. From my understanding, pressure seems to be a fairly critical part of jiu-jitsu. And if you're being too nice, there's a strong chance you're probably not applying enough of it. You or your training partner will not learn how to manage or deal with the discomfort of pressure if they never experience it. I remember as a white belt being quite nervous sometimes when I was rolling with the higher belts, but actually those are the roles I now look forward to. And if I go down to a training session and haven't had my weekly humbling or my weekly dollop of knee on belly, I kind of feel like I haven't had a proper training session. I'm almost certain I'd learn a lot more in those sessions with the higher belts where it's pretty intense and can often be a bit uncomfortable than I do when I'm just rolling around, having a bit of a cuddle with a mate. And the fifth reason it's not very helpful is giving a lack of real sparring experience. Rolling is a form of sparring, and the purpose it seems to be to simulate real life scenarios. The saying, the more you bleed in training, the less you bleed in the battle, is probably pretty accurate. If you're both being too nice, then you're not mimicking real resistance. And this actually is gonna limit the value of the training session. I don't think there's anyone I've met in the past eight years from jiu-jitsu that I haven't liked. And actually, the people who've submitted me the most and probably provided the most discomfort through pressure are the people I like the most, not the least. Now, we all know the odd occasion when you've rolled with someone who's been a bit unkind. And there's a definite difference between that than when you roll with someone, maybe a higher belt, who's putting it on, but in a way that's actually helping you to learn how to manage it. And the sixth reason it's unhelpful, delayed reflexes. If you're being overly nice and going through everything in slow motion, that's not realistic. You're better off, I think, trying to recreate what it's actually going to be like. And the seventh reason it's not helpful, if you're being too nice, you're not testing your boundaries. Being overly nice and cautious is preventing you and your partner from testing and pushing those physical and mental boundaries. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is really hard and can be really uncomfortable. But oh my goodness, apart from getting married and becoming a parent, it's probably the most fulfilling thing I've ever done. Constantly apologizing or second guessing your actions is gonna interrupt the natural flow of the role. This can slow down the development of your reflexes and your muscle memory, which are essential when learning how to react effectively and quickly when you're actually rolling. 
The growth you want in jiu-jitsu, I'm pretty sure, probably happens at the edge of your comfort. And that's a truism in any area of your life. If you're playing it too safe, you're never going to develop and grow. And the eighth reason it's unhelpful is creating really bad habits. It's also really annoying and frustrating if you're rolling with someone who's so terrified they might accidentally hurt you in some way. The training sessions I enjoy the most are the ones where I've had some full-on rolls with some of my friends. We've both been going for it. Not in a dangerous, erratic, crazy horse way, but in a way where we're both trying to win. Not in a mean or unfair or underhand way, just trying to win. Yes, it's absolutely vital that you do everything you can to look after the physical and mental and emotional safety of whoever it is you're rolling with. But if you want to get better and you want to help them get better, then you need to try hard. When it began, just after my 40th birthday, it was this or learn guitar. I survived my trial class, split my first two pairs of key pants, Going commando is frowned upon Hands Choking hands Reaching out Choking me While I'm trying to choke you Brazilian jiu-jitsu It helps me more than you can believe Give it a go, ba -ba -da. you'll be amazed what you can achieve. I really hope you got some of this episode. And if, like me, you train Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to know where in the world you train. I'd love to know what belt you are. And I'd love to know how you're getting on. And if you have any tips about things that you do that help to get you on the mat, keep me training, keep me rolling, keep me progressing, please let me know in the comments. And if you'd like to watch a video I made recently about the eight tips I wish I'd learned as a white belt, please click here. I hope wherever you're in the world, you're okay, take care.